Nigga pushing on them keys Nothing comes to a sleeper Nigga but a dream Can you see the prince in me Can you see the Freddy Nigga all in your dreams Nigga no you can't come with me Come with me Kabbalah God TV, you know what I mean? It's definitely a blessing. We out here, Peace you know what we represent, no baby. Health, wealth, knowledge yourself. And this is only the beginning. A beginning is a very delicate time. Yeah. The silent soldier. In order to smooth the path for those who are following behind me. I live at the bottom of one of nature's coldest seas. I come up every now and then and spit fire. To struggle is to go the distance. To win is not to care how far one must go. George. And I've done the research and I've looked and I've seen that they have uh, several courses and they have several classes that offer um, a whole gambit of different subject areas. However, the pricing on those courses are astronomical in retrospect to the type of um, uh, interaction you're going to have with the people given the course. Now, these are one of the uh, this this, in fact, is one of the situations where you actually have access to. A person who works um, closer to your community and someone who you can actually see interface with and ask direct questions over the course of um, well over I want to say maybe six perhaps seven years I have um, diligently um, uh, expressed and shown my uh, level of acumen as it pertains to uh, metaphysics and Kabbalah and as of most recent like common sense and how all of those things filter themselves into uh, how we communicate and behavior and all of that. And um, we've also ventured into music. So now we have a whole different um, method and, and a venue to address a wider scope of people. So uh, all of this said, I want everyone to know that the classes are special in in. in in, uh, in the light of that if you ever enjoyed any of the DVD material that you may have seen over the course of the years, you are going to love the class for the simple fact that in the class I'm going to be sharing things that I've never shared inside of DVD presentations and we've done over 70 presentations so if you think that you like all of the presentations and stuff that you've seen either on YouTube or the DVDs that you purchased from the uh, DVD vendors in your area. Imagine how it is when you get an opportunity to interface with the actual teacher and they're able to explain to you according to your level of understanding what it is that they're talking about and that's what the red house offers it's exclusive the color red is an exclusive color it's the color used for uh to get the attention 
of the most primal and the most important part of your psychology, the part of you that identifies with survival. So we speak into the people who want power in the areas that we're affecting is we're, we're, we're trying to communitively and holistically address the whole person with the ideology that we teach from the inside out. So a lot of things in the uh, in the world around us that are the most powerful are actually those um, those entities or those structures or those infrastructures that actually work from the inside and project themselves outward and, and not the other way around. Uh, if we were in a circular circular um, uh, construct, the outer circle representing the world at large and the inner circle representing the school and us being the uh, space in between that, there's a, there's a series of stages that underlie and describe the, um, the stride towards one become. So in the cumulative experience and in the cumulative experience, in the uh, in in the uh, in in the cumulative in the holistic experience, there's the person, there's you, and then there's the myth. The myth is what stands as the point of reference from which how you see yourself. Your myth involves your culture. Beyond the myth comes your thought processes. So your myth and your culture they distinguish and they tell us what your thought processes in, entail. How do we actually see a thought processes in action? is delegated based off of your behavior. So after your behavior, your behavior demonstrates your power and your role in your world or the world at large. So at the Red House, our emphasis is on you creating a power, a, a powerful presence for yourself in the realm of aesthetics, how you perceive yourself, how you perceive beauty, how you apply those sciences in art, in, in whatever field of interest you are, you're in. I don't care if you're a, um, a high-level billionaire CEO or if you're a janitor. If you can um, see beautiful things and other things, you can strive towards accomplishing more in life. And that's even if you have everything. And we we'll also have an emphasis on the therapeutic use of this information. A new lane that people are entering in is the a realm of common sense application of what it is that we're learning. For years, we haven't actually had the opportunity to interface with people from all over the world in this fashion and we're utilizing the technology at large. So we have platforms for, for us to utilize social networking and you have a teacher of your choice who is able to impart some things that you find significant, why not become a part of that school and that movement where not only you receive with us PDS, personalized video pertaining to the subject area, not only that, the MP3 where you can listen to it on the go, work assignments, and if you don't understand something, you can email and get an immediate response. If you don't get a response fast enough, you call. There's platforms, Google Hangouts, Skype, as well as Tango, where you and I can interface and we can actually speak about and share. I can share my computer screen and show you specifically what I mean. It's you. Your myth creates your thought process. Your thought process is how you operate in the realm as your behavior. And your behavior distinguishes your role and your power within the world at large. The information that we are um, imparting in our Kabbalah class, we're speaking about high-end ancient metaphysics. The list is in our... I purposely took the name of the classes and obscure the name of the classes in particular because I already know about the biters. Niggas are sitting up, niggas try to teach Kabbalah class that don't know nothing of the subject era for just to be spiteful and just to, you know, just dick eat, you know, just being dick eaters and try to hash it out to, to you all as though here it is, here you have it. Now, let me tell you something. I have studied the subject area and the subject area in particular 
for such a long time that it has made me far more intelligent beyond what I was prior to me approaching the world. I know because why it has given me a system of organization uh, places, tiers, levels, so to speak, to put my thoughts, experiences. And this is this information to those who uh, see the significance in being able to do just what I described. Now, it took, it took uh, several years. It took a long time, a long period of time to galvanize all of this information. Being able to utilize the information to improve the quality of people's lives is very significant. I had very qualified individuals who over the course of uh, several years have been testament uh, to, to how I've helped them improve the quality of their life by defining for them the parameters and the powers within the limits uh, imposed which create beauty and aesthetics. What did you just say? And I'm gonna tell you, I am using what is called operative metaphysics. This is the metaphysics in praxis, meaning in use. Every time you make or create a thought or interact socially, you're conducting sorcery. You are participating in divination. You are participating in the magnetic field. You are touching or strumming the texture of the celestial correspondences. You are, uh, every time you eat, you are tantalizing the sensory perception. You are strumming at the very root of primacy. You are bringing psychology back to the tree of life, back to the rudimentary construct of how you create happiness in your reality. So what happens is after you progress in your understanding, it comes a point where I cannot continuously hold this information and not impart it in such a way where it can help people to actually use it. Musicians who covet this information who of all different levels of musicians. There's been people in the realm of design, in the realm of, um, of, 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 of education, people in the, all various realms and social constructs have benefited from being able to interface. Now, it comes a time when you have to offer this information and make it exclusive to those who are in your core group audience. And I want to appeal to those people who really want the information and give them my all because the brand and trying to build who I am is, has consistently put me in a situation where I'm not or have not been able to give attention, the quality attention deserved to those people who have never faltered or, or deviated from their patronage from day one. And those are the people that I wanna focus on. And then there are those who have, is information that in some cases may be just as significant, if not more than what you would have encountered in college where you had paid 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars and some of you are still in debt paying back your degree without uh, jobs that qualify for all of your training. If I'm saying that for a dollar a day that you can learn if you feel that what I have is significant, for one dollar a day, you get all of an individual's years of studying, trying to improve the quality of their thinking and putting it on the perspective. And you can get all of that. All we're asking is just for you to commit yourself to four months, which would be equivalent to 30, 60, 90, 120. And you get, with every single month, a new DVD presentation with $30 in the streets. All you can get is 